So today we're gonna make a synth pad using the Perform VE. I just want it to be super simple, ambient. Synth pads are a staple of synthesizer sounds in general. So the goal here is just to make something super simple, a bread and butter synth sound. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is get a sample. And I think the most important thing with a sample on a pad is that it has a long sustain. Uh, the VE will only play back a sample as long as you record it when it's in one shot mode. Otherwise it'll loop, but if you loop, then it gets kind of percussive. And I want this to be just a long sustained sample when I hold a chord. So uh, I'm gonna do, I think an ah, but really long. And what's nice about VE is that it flattens my pitch. So my ah can be pitchy, my awe can not necessarily sound great as I record it, but anyway. Uh... So really, I had like maxed the sample length there. Um, but what's great about that is I can hold the chord for a really long time. Uh... So the first thing we're gonna do uh, is adjust the release of this because right now if I release a note, uh, it kind of stops right away and I'd rather that it kind of smoothly decays after I release the note. So the way we do this is we go to the morph button and we press the mode corner on the top right and as you just adjust the dial, if it's green then you're adjusting release, so. So that's a good release to my ear. Um, and I think I'm just gonna keep the style neutral so it's just playing back the notes kind of naturally. For now, at least. There's no gender shifting. Uh, next up, if we want an ambient pad, we have to add ambience. So I'm gonna add some reverb here. And I'm just gonna add reverb. I'm not gonna add any delay right now. So let's just hear that. I'm gonna use the hall reverb type and I'm gonna add a lot of it. So already we've got a very, uh, almost Mellotron-like uh, choir sound and it's nice and ambient, but I'd like to make it sound more like a synthesizer. The way I'm gonna do that is by using the vocoder style in the morph button. So if we just press the style here and increase this until the light is not blue. So now we're in the vocoder waveforms here and I'm just gonna use a pretty basic saw wave and let's see how that sounds just with the reverb. <laughs> And just to make it sound a little bit less like a human voice, I'm going to uh, change the gender too. I'm gonna shift the gender down, see how that sounds. That sounds nice, but it's a little bit harsh. So I'm also going to add the low pass filter that we have here in the filter. It's just the first style. And I'm gonna filter it down a little bit. Let's listen to that. So I think that's really awesome. It doesn't necessarily sound like an analog synth, but if you want an analog synth, buy an analog synth, right? This is something that's very unique. And what's great about this, especially when you're using the filter, is that it's versatile. You can go from a very soft sound, which could just sit in the background in a mix, up to a really bright, um, kind of wide ambient sound.
Let's try some different vocoder waveforms while we're here, just see what they sound like. So this type of sound could be really useful if you're playing with a band and you just need to fill out the mix a little bit if you're their keyboard player. This could be useful if you're in a church setting and you need to add a little bit of ambience. Um, in a studio setting, if you're like working on a track and you want an interesting pad that doesn't necessarily sound like your basic analog synth pad. This is a great machine for creating simple pads and, and background ambiences, as well as all the other crazy stuff that it can do. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.